how to clean our filet a black crappy uh, quickly and this is sort of a redneck 101 video so it's more intended for a beginner and you might uh, not get as much meat from this technique there are some uh, techniques on the uh, YouTube that require a little bit more skill uh, one of them is called something like you know how to filet a black crappy like a professional but this is more of the redneck 101 version of it all right, so you always want to start start with a sharp knife, and I sharpened the knife off screen. Uh, this is a Dexter Russell uh, seven inch uh, fillet knife. All right, I also want to give testimony to the Lord Jesus. I caught this uh, crappy in response to prayer. Okay, so the first cut we make is behind the gill plate, kind of downward at an angle like this, and you're going through the scales, through the fillet, but down through the backbone. So when you feel the backbone, you want to stop and not cut a lot harder. And now we're going to actually, in this technique, we're going to make the next cut uh, along the backbone and we're actually going to cut uh, through the ribs with the technique that we use. Some other techniques online, they have you cut around the ribs, which is another way to do it and a fine approach, but that takes a little more skill. All right, so you separate the fillet from the backbone, uh, flip it over, leave a little skin tag so you don't have to grab with pliers or anything. Oops, wow, almost lost the whole thing. Lost the skin tag there. <laughs> and then separate it uh, from the skin. Now, as an extra step, uh, you can actually cut out the ribs at this point, uh, but my wife actually like, uh, asked me to leave them in because she's intended to barber, um, she's intended to grill this, and then the ribs lift out real easily after grilling. And you save a little meat. If you were going to fry it and you want your uh, fillets uh, without any bones in it, uh, you'd go ahead and make another cut and cut out the ribs. Uh, but my, my wife asked me to leave them in. All right, so same thing on the other side. Cut kind of diagonally here down behind the gill plate. I'm actually going to flip this guy around. I'll go ahead and spin it back around, flip it over, and now separate the fillet from the skin. Man, that tag just doesn't want to hold on today. Alright, that's all there is to it. Uh, two nice uh, crappy fillets. Uh, these will be great on the grill. Again, if you prefer to fry it or uh, prefer boneless fillets, uh, make another cut just to get those ribs out real quick. 